Mitch Reiner is a 2005 finance graduate who is a partner and chief operating officer at Capital Investment Advisors, an Atlanta-based company co-founded by his father, Terry alumnus Mike Reiner, whose firm also has offices in Sarasota, Florida and Tampa. If Mitch's name and face seem familiar, it's likely because he makes frequent appearances on cable business channels to analyze the prevailing financial climate and how it affects investors. The ease by which he handles on-air commentary is a talent Mitch inherited from his father, who for years made guest appearances on a radio show hosted by Atlanta financial planner Mike Cavanaugh. The lessons that 1974 finance graduate Mike Reiner imparted to his son also contributed to the origins of the Terry College's highly successful student-managed investment fund, which Mitch started as a club when he was a senior in college. We called it the UGA Investment Club back then, and in the beginning, we had to lure students to meetings with pizza, says Mitch, who is reading an account of the club's early days from a yellowed copy of The Red and Black from January 2005. The idea was to give students stock market experience, but in the absence of real money, we had to set up a virtual portfolio on Yahoo Finance. What a difference a decade makes. In 2006, Terry alum Darren DeVore and his wife Pam made the lead gift to establish a fully funded version of the club that Mitch had started. And in 2015, owing to how successful the Student Managed Investment Fund had been with real world investments, the UGA Foundation invested $750,000 in the fund as part of its long term portfolio strategy. The foundation's investment boosted the fund's current working capital to more than $1 million. Since the fund's inception, the Smith team has matched or surpassed a number of key Wall Street benchmarks, growing the balance by an average of 8.95% on an annualized basis, says Mitch, who has come full circle and now serves as chairman of the board of trustees for Smith. Born and raised in Atlanta, Mitch described his boyhood self as an independent dude who started his own business when he was in elementary school, and he hasn't slowed down since. When I was nine years old, I created a youth baseball camp in my neighborhood. I printed a bunch of flyers, and the kids who signed up were only a couple years younger than me, says Mitch, who loves baseball and who is getting to be a pretty fair golfer. If you Google his cable network videos, you may also run across a segment from the Stadium Classic, where Mitch made a hole-in-one on the 181-yard 13th hole at the UGA golf course. Odd jobs as a kid included cutting lawns, babysitting, dog walking, and the usual fast food stints, before he eventually landed his favorite teenage job at the Simon Eyes Car Wash on Johnson Ferry Road. I quickly worked my way up to salesman and then part-time manager of the car wash, says Mitch. I've never been comfortable just sitting still. He took honors classes at Pope High School and earned enough credits to qualify for joint enrollment at Kennesaw State. I do numbers really well, says Mitch, and I remember watching CNBC when I was in high school, not always understanding what I was watching, but I was interested in the business world. He majored in finance at Terry, gained confidence as a Leonard Leadership Scholar, and served as treasurer and rush chairman at AE Pi. Despite being a serious student devoted to the success of the investment club, he had his share of fun too. Example A. That perfectly situated loft at 361 East Clayton Street in Athens, the one we've all gazed up at, wondering what it would be like to live in an apartment with wall-to-wall -wall party central windows and an unobstructed view of the downtown action? Well, Mitch can tell you what it was like because that's where he and his five college roommates lived senior year. Maybe he should have gone into real estate. Both Mitch and his future wife, Jenny Minx, worked in New York while they were in college. Jenny, a PR major at Georgia, interned at ESPN while Mitch was at UBS Financial Services. The couple got married on New Year's Eve 2009. How romantic is that? And they now have two young children, Micah, who's four, and Ayla, whom diehard dogs fan Mitch observes was born during the 2014 Georgia-Florida game. Initially ambivalent about what to do following graduation, Mitch had a heart-to-heart -heart with his dad that settled the issue. Deciding to go to work with my father was the defining moment in my career, says Mitch. My brother Matt is now a partner in the firm, and in 2015, the Atlanta Business Chronicle ranked Capital Investment Advisors number seven on its list of the best places to work, small companies. Once we hire someone, they never want to leave. 
The man who deserves the lion's share of the credit for Capital Investment Advisors' climate of employee satisfaction and investment success is Mike Reiner, a former regional sales director for Fleet Boston, before he moved to Atlanta to become a financial advisor to small businesses. When he emptied his 401k in 1994 to take a flyer on his own investment firm, the Reiners were basically all in. We were not a well-to-do family, says Mitch. My mom worked at home doing medical transcription, and my father took some significant risks to start his own business. Fast forward to 2016, and Capital Investment Advisors has become a multifaceted operation that is moving up the annual Bulldog 100 list of the fastest growing alumni-owned businesses. Capital Investment Advisors, the mothership, is our firm's principal financial investment arm, says Mitch. Wella is addressing the challenges that the next generation of investors faces. Capital accounting and tax is just what the name implies. Capital administration is our 401k business, and we also have a group of ancillary enterprises that includes estate attorneys, medical insurance, and technology solutions. Mitch has been an officer of Terry's Young Alumni Board, and nominator Mike Ivey praises him for his commitment to good citizenship. Mitch is president-elect of the board for Wonder Root, an arts-based community organization in Atlanta. He was also a member of the 2015 class of LEAD Atlanta and an originating member of the Atlanta hub of the Global Shapers organization. The Reiners live in the Virginia Highland neighborhood of Atlanta. And on weekends, you can find them strolling North Highland Avenue in search of dinner, ice cream, or a water bowl for the family's golden doodle, Clayton. The Terry College is proud to present the 2016 Outstanding Young Alumni Award to Mitch Reiner. <laughs>